Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Hookup Girls versus Relationship and Family Oriented Women. Well, I mean, this particular email is a really good email because the woman that this guy got involved with is just like an absolute train wreck. And when you see what she's doing and how she's behaving, these are the type of women that you always see on the Red Pill podcast that the Red Pill guys are always trying to say, this is modern women, this is the dating pool out there. But back in my day when I was growing up, when you came across a woman who behaved this, like, I mean, she basically behaves like a stripper. Probably comes from a broken home, has got some daddy issues. It's like, I mean, when I was younger, I dated strippers. I had a good friend of mine, loved dating strippers. And anytime I mention this, it's like, you know, there's always some stripper that a couple of them that are watching me, they get mad and get upset. But typically, if you're going to date women that behave this way, loyalty, being faithful is just typically goes out the window. Most of the women that do those kinds of things typically tend to be absolute train wrecks. Not all of them, but the majority of them. And you got to think in terms of if you're looking for a good match, if especially if you're family oriented you got to make sure the girl's got the same values and goals as you are. And so this particular guy, is it's clear he's totally hypnotized by this girl's beauty and sex appeal. But he's completely ignoring the reality that he's trying, in essence, turn a hoe into a housewife. He's trying to fix this broken girl that came from a broken home. And it's not going too well for him. And so he ended up breaking up with her when he was drunk because she was doing inappropriate things. But they weren't really together. They were just kind of dating and then after he sobered up, he starts apologizing, chasing after her. And, you know, now he's thinking he made a mistake. And it's like, again, when I was younger, this type of shit was obvious to me. You know, it's like when you see this kind of behavior, it's like nobody wanted to date, date girls. Like you might hook up with a girl like this a few times, but you're not going to you're not delusional enough to think this is going to be the mother of your children or somebody that, you know, you're going to have a healthy monogamous relationship with. And especially when, you know, he's had conversations with her about what he expects and it's like she's just going to do what she wants. And she's got lots of men that are willing to validate her life choices. And it's like, you know, there again, there's hookup girls and then there's family-oriented type women. you got to make sure the girl's got the value system because the way this woman behaves, if the girl comes from a good home, loves her mom and dad, respects her father, respects his authority – the mother respects the father. Any other sisters respect the father. He's the man of the house. He's not some doormat, beta male. They're going to typically be family-oriented and close. And getting together and doing family-oriented things is going to be important. And she's not going to be taking pictures of her baloney curtains and putting them all over Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and OnlyFans and other things like that. Again, girls that do that typically come from broken homes. They don't have a good, strong, masculine father that raised them properly. And again, like I said, when I, I, I knew this when I was young. This is common sense. You, you, you don't confuse the two. Some girls are for fun. Some girls are for relationships. This is a girl for a little bit of fun. Obviously, practice safe sex, but you, you don't get involved in a relationship with somebody like this. And this guy's like trying to change her. And it's just because you have... The book 3% Man, it's it's not a manual on how to fix broken women. It's to find the woman of your dreams, a good woman who you're compatible with, who will be loyal and faithful to you. And this woman's behavior here, it's like she ain't going to be loyal and faithful to anybody. Again, she behaves like a stripper. It's like, why would you try to wife up a stripper who's obviously not going to be loyal to anybody? You don't. It's common sense, but you know, common sense is not that common these days. So he says, hey, coach, I've been following your work for almost two years now, but only have read the book twice. Another part of the reason he doesn't he's not taking his success seriously. He's not taking his life seriously, doesn't really know the information, learned enough to get laid. But other than that, not really paying attention, not even trying to vet this girl. He's just projecting his fantasy of what he wants onto her. And meanwhile, he completely ignores the reality. I mean, he's totally delusional about this girl. I'm sure you guys will agree. He says, I know I have a lot more to go, but I want to get your take on a situation I found myself in for the last three months. I matched with this absolute smoke show on Hinge in early December 2023. 
Again, in my experience, most women that come from good homes that are family oriented, they have a good social circle of friends and girlfriends. It's like they're always meeting great guys. They're not going to be on a dating app. It's just reality. Typically, people that are on dating apps, maybe it's because they've moved to a new area and they don't know anybody. But that's a small minority. What you see is the majority of people that are on there are just messed up, broken people. It's not all of them. But it just means there's just a lot of crap you got to go through. There's a lot of swiping. There's a lot of texting and a lot of talking and to try to find somebody that's a good person. And a woman like this, if he'd have just asked a few questions or looked at her social media, he should have known never to get involved with her. But he didn't care. He says, I'm 34 and she is 31. I do some exploring on her social media. Her posts are almost all pictures of her in sexy poses all done up in makeup and revealing outfits. Almost no posts with other people, friends, or family, just glam shots. There you have it. Unless she's some successful supermodel or sporty girl that models bikinis or dresses or whatever. It's like girls that are doing this are just, just acting like a stripper, basically. And there's a lot of social media platforms where those strippers can have a global audience and make a lot of money. Instead of just stripping in a little place... They can strip globally on the internet. And there's lots of thirsty guys that are willing to throw tons of money at them. And all it does is validate their life choices. But again, when you see something like this, you see your social media, you shouldn't be like, oh, this is the perfect girl for me. Oh, yeah, I want that. Girls that are family-oriented, they'll have a few pictures here and there. Maybe their dog, maybe their friends, their family. They're, they're not spreading their legs in a yoga pose so you can see their baloney curtains or their camel toe. It's a guy who's family-oriented, if his daughter did that, he'd be fucking mortified. He'd be like, take that down. He says she also has a whole highlight reel dedicated to her taking shots at various bars and partying really hard. Another highlight reel dedicated to only selfies. It became clear that this girl is obsessed with social media Attention. Yeah, she didn't get enough male attention from her dad growing up. And now she's seeking it from wherever she can get it from. He says, specifically male attention. She's been single for the past three years, but has dated around a lot. (laughs) I shrugged this off, thinking lots of women these days are all about social media, selfies, and secretly wanting to become an influencer. Again, when you see these kinds of pictures, a woman is behaving like a stripper. It's so obvious. How can you not fucking see that? It's like, hello. Fast forward to mid-January. We have been hanging out three plus times a week for a month. We're obsessed with each other and banging like rabbits. We're hanging out one night and after a session of the Indoor Olympics, she says she needs to tell me something. She said that she loves her birthday because it's the one day all eyes are on her. Again, that's daddy issue right there. All eyes are on me. Everybody pays attention to me. It makes me feel special on my birthday. Because in other words, words, she doesn't feel special most of the time. Because dad was not around to make her feel special. You're not going to fix that, bro. You have to. I mean, it was so obvious. I mean, I've been talking about this shit for years. And it's like, and then you get involved with this girl. And you're like, ooh. This is what happens when you're a crappy student. And you don't take your life seriously. You get burned. She, te- she said she tends to get really turned up and guys in the past have been off put. I say I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> well, on her birthday, she went pretty off the rails, dancing on tables and getting on dudes she knows shoulders. Yeah, again, family oriented girls are just not going to be behaving this way. Not to mention her outfit was basically a thong covered by a see-through skirt i let it go because she gave me a warning and technically we're not exclusive yeah bro it's like you're just fuck buddies friends with benefits it's like he's like thinking i'm gonna save her i'm gonna fix her captain save a hole to the rescue today we ride captain save a hole and his merry band of save a hole rescuers I found a stripper and an OnlyFans girl. They're going to change her life. I thought that weekend was the end of it. (laughs) 
Dude, this is predictable. Character's destiny. It's all over social media. If you do come in there and think, oh yeah, I'm gonna erase all this, this girl's gonna completely become my ideal. And I could just ignore the reality that she behaves like a stripper. And yeah, it'll be great. This will be fine. A couple weeks later, we decide to be exclusive. She's really happy about it. We end up saying I love you to each other. I should mention that the week after her birthday, she got a boob job. This was no slight augmentation. She got way too big implants on her petite 5'3 frame. Again, these are daddy issues, bro. This is so obvious. It looks more unrealistic than a Barbie doll. Straight up porn star level. You don't try to turn a hoe into a housewife, bro. When we were at a party, she started approaching men to show off her boobs. Ooh, ooh, look at me. <laughs> That's just what I want in a girlfriend. I'm sure she'll be faithful and loyal. She can't wait to go stick her big boobs in every man's face to get some attention. Because again, daddy didn't hug her enough and love her enough. I finally got fed up and pulled aside to tell her that that was crossing a boundary for me. She apologized and just said, sorry, I'm just excited about them. It seemed like she understood. I got a bridge there I can sell you, bro. Last weekend, she went on a bachelorette trip in Miami. The week leading up to this, I noticed a slight dip in her interest from her. Please note that I never initiated contact first. The first night in Miami, shit hits the fan. She starts posting pictures of her in this outfit that is basically showing everything except her nipples and vagina. Dude, you validated her by dating her and sleeping with her and agreeing to be in a relationship. You just thought all this shit was going to stop? Come on. that's that's his, This is the the most delusional email I've gotten in a while. It would put the sexiest lingerie to shame. She posts multiple, multiple videos of her dancing on tables in a VIP section surrounded by dudes rubbing and squeezing her new assets together in front of not just her own camera, but other dudes filming. Yeah, so you're in an exclusive relationship and she's letting other men touch her boobs and her ass and everything. Yeah, that's definitely the girl I'm going to take home to mom and dad. She's not like other girls. Come on. Whew, I lost my shit and just replied, oh, fuck that. I'm out. Bye. She replied, LOL, are you kidding me? And I said, nope. Granted, I was out with my friends too, also drinking heavily. Well, that was the right response. You should not have agreed to be exclusive with her. This was a girl to hook up with a few times. And if you're having sex with her, you should have definitely been wearing a raincoat. You should have been raw dogging it, but more than likely you were probably doing that too. The next day I sobered up and apologized, but didn't hear from her the rest of her trip. Now he's begging. <laughs> I went over to her house when she got back to talk. I told her her behavior on social media was wildly inappropriate and crossed so many lines. Dude, this is who she was when, she, when you met her. I said, I cannot be in a relationship with someone who acts and posts like that. I told her it made me feel like I'm not enough and she requires the gaze and attention from multiple people, men, to be happy. Again, this is a girl with serious daddy issues. She obviously came from a broken home, didn't get enough strokes as a kid, and you're not going to fix that. I mean, again, it's like I knew this shit when I was fucking 18, 19 years old. I would have never looked at a girl that behaved this way and thought, oh, yeah, I was totally going to date her. This is totally what I want. My friends would have been laughing their asses off at me if I was like, this is my girlfriend. If I just hooked up her, they'd be like, hey, she's hot. Nice job. Woo. We would have high-fived each other, and that would have been the end of it. Some girls are for fun. And even fewer girls are for relationships. She did not acknowledge my feelings at all. She doesn't care. All these dudes are throwing their dicks at her. It's like she's got plenty of options. And so there's so many desperate, thirsty men in society, they'll just keep validating her choices as being legit. And said that she isn't going to change the way she acts or posts, calling herself outgoing, social, and likes to have fun. <laughs> That's all it is. She's a lying, cheating hoe, and you tried to wipe her up. I am the same way along with many other people, but they don't act like that. I basically said that I guess that's the end of it then and left. That was two days ago and I haven't heard from her since. I also heard a rumor that she has been sliding into a guy she used to hook up with 
in his DMs recently. My question is, did I make the right move here? Do you really have to ask? Really? Does she belong to the streets? She's a fuck buddy, friends with benefits, sex playmate, that's it. Always practice safe sex with a girl like this. But you, you don't say, oh, yeah, let's be exclusive. Let's be in a relationship. And then she just continues behaving this way. It's like, come on. Or should she be allowed to have fun like that as long as she's not cheating? Well, it's like, dude, everybody's touching her boobs when you're supposedly in a relationship. She ain't going to be loyal and faithful to anybody. I wouldn't believe anything she said. Help me out, coach. She's super fucking hot, so it was hard to walk away. That's the problem. She's like kryptonite to you. And most guys that haven't had enough hot women will put up with this shit because they're like, that's the only one that liked me. It's like, seriously, dude, don't confuse the hoe with a potential housewife. It's like, it's not even close. It is so fucking obvious that this girl is not relationship material. It, I mean, again, this should be common sense, but unfortunately, common sense isn't so common. So if you got a question or a challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandingrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen on any page of my website and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. <laughs>